Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of this tutorial series. Um, let's get straight into it. Let's come over to our webmin script and let's make a new variable public camera main cam. Then let's come down to our fire function. We're going to be making a raycast. So let's go vector 3 ray origin equals main kitten dot view port to world point bracket new vector 3 0 0.5 0 0.5 f 0 0.0 f finish with two brackets test to be 0.5f then let's come down here let's go raycast hit hit and then if physics dot raycast main cam dot transform dot forward out hit then make it print let's go I'll call it here Prints hit something. Alright, brilliant. Let's come back over to our uh, Unity screen. Let's come over to our player script. Click on our ACR and let's assign our camera. Alright, brilliant. Next, let's add a crosshair. So let's go game object UI um, image. Let's change the image to hmm. uh, the knob and let's change the width and the height to make it look a little bit more presentable. Let's rename it crosshair and beautiful. Let's go ahead and add an enemy so we can shoot something. So let's go game object. First up, let's make a terrain so we don't fall through the map. Come over to the paintbrush, edit textures, add texture. Let's add a sand texture with the tiling on five. Then let's go to game object, 3D object, capture. Let's control D this. Double click to find a capture on the scene. Control D the material, drag it onto our player. And let's make our player red. I mean, sorry, our enemy red. Change our enemy to red. Then let's go ahead and give him a health script. So let's start our AI script. Let's just call it AI. Roughly create script. Let's come to our caption. And let's rename him enemy. Let's go to the tag, add tag. And then you have to add the tag enemy. Next click on tag, go to enemy. And drag the AI script onto the enemy. Let's go ahead and double click on our AI script to open it. Alright, beautiful. Now that we're over here, let's go public integer health and let's make a function void damage. Let's go 
fill in the parameters up here in damage in a lower case instead of upcase then health minus minus equals damage brilliant now let's do a dot function so if health under or equal to zero uh, die let's go void die camera object dot set active false uh, on our whole weapon script let's come back actually let's see if we can detect any sign Uh, beautiful. So let's go ahead and add um, in the physics array class a function. You hit the clutter, the camera object, the get component. Actually, first, you hit dot clutter dot tag equals enemy. Hit dot collider dot get component AR brackets dot damage damage. Uh, brilliant, then we're going to have to come back over to our AI script and make it a public uh, function. Putting public in front of void. Alright, beautiful, so that should all work as the plan. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to give our enemy 100 health over in the inspector. It didn't work first do a little bit of testing. So it hits the enemy tag, print enemy hit, and just if it hits something, let's go something hit. Alright, let's go back to the unity editor play and see what happens. Something hit. So hit the collider the game object tag and let's see if that works. So that should work. Let's go ahead and add a new tag and call it kill. Change the enemy tag to kill. And do the same over here. Good. All right, fuck! I am fucking brilliant. Sorry for the delay, everyone. You're gonna come up to here, over here and turn the mesh platter off on the um, muzzle flash. And 
now a red hit and die. Uh, ah, beautiful. So now we have uh, enemies and killing enemies in game. Uh, right before we end this episode, let's quickly go ahead and add a score that we can build up. So let's go to on my left, Control D, and go to the top right hand side of the screen, and bring it up. And zero. Let's call it score you are. Let's go create C sharp script. Uh, let's call this player. Let's come over to our player game object in the hierarchy. Wait for our script to load. And let's drag our player script onto our player. Alright, let's go ahead and open this. The very top using UniEngine.ui and public integer score in the update function. Right, we're also going to need another variable public text score UI in the update function score UI dot text equals score dot to string. Uh, let's make a variable public void uh, score add. Let's go integer points up here and let's go score plus equals points down here all right brilliant now let's go ahead to our weapon script make another variable call it public player player and on hit of an enemy let's go player dot score add and let's give them uh, as much as we damage. Let's go back to Unity. Let's wait for our script to load. Then let's come over to the hierarchy. Click on player and drag our score UI onto here. Let's click play and let's see if this will give us some score when we hit our enemy. All right, beautiful. How silly of me. Let's first come down to our weapon uh, model in the hierarchy and then drag our player onto the player variable. All right, let's click play and go and try this out again. We get 30 points per thing, and now we have a point system in our game. Alright, so really quickly, let's give a little bit of extra points uh, if we actually fully kill the enemy. So let's go. If hit dot collider dot get component AI dot health is under or equal to damage and player dot score add 100 all right beautiful so now we should get every single time we hit the player a little bit of score and when we actually fully kill them 100 points Alright, beautiful. Now we have a point system in our game, basic firing, uh, a lot of base features. Uh, thank you for tuning in once again. I hope you continue for the rest of the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and have a beautiful day.